All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today in preparation for his imminent release on global in about four days from now I decided to bring you guys some gameplay for the SDR transforming cooler from the JP side in order to hopefully help some of you who are a little bit unsure a little bit on the fence about whether or not you want to summon for him once his banner comes out on global right so without further ado let's jump into it and as you can see the team we're bringing for this video is a hybrid between his two leader skills the conquest of terror or i think it's called terrifying conquerors category and also the uh, transformation boost category all right so the first rotation is actually really really nice we have one of the best supports in the game the fizz kid boo as well as one of his best linking partners the transforming frieza he's starting off with 334,000 attack and 125,000 defense which is actually really really good so let's give these guys some orbs and uh, see what this cooler can do i'm expecting some pretty freaking amazing attack here uh, even though he really doesn't become an offensive juggernaut until he gets that transformation into final form cooler which we can actually do next turn since we're facing off against a pure saints enemy so oh my god okay <laughs> so as i said he, he becomes way more offensive and also more defensive actually once he gets the transformation but even without that, even though in this state he's, in my mind, more of a support unit, uh, still almost 3 million attack stat, almost 3 million attack stat, and then 3.2 million crit, lowering attack and defense as well. Uh, not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Okay, so now we have the second cooler as well, and this time I think it's going to be a little bit lower. Yeah, so 116,000 defense and 290,000 attack, but we should still be well over 2 million attack here. And then uh, after this rotation is done, we're going to pop the active skill and you're going to see one of the most beautiful animations in the entire game. Okay, so, th so there you go, 2.5 million attack, 2.5 million attack. And okay, so type disadvantage, 568 crit or non crit, just 568,000 damage. Not the most impressive, but very high attack stat still. And uh, as I said, man, next turn, we're gonna pop the active skill. You're gonna see one of the best transformations in the entire game, just best like straight up animations actually in the entire game. And then we're gonna see some uh, really crazy stuff because I think next turn, yeah, so. This turn, we actually have the Kid Boo and also the um, the Turles. Man, how did I forget his name? For a second, I was just like, what is his name again? Turles. And we also have Big Bad Bosses active at the time. Hold up. Oh yeah, we're below 80%. So yeah, we have Big Bad Bosses active. And let's pop this active skill. I'm going to shut up for a second. Just, just enjoy. All right, it's so freaking good. Dude, um, <laughs> I just love it, man. They did such an amazing job. Even though it's not an attack, like this transformation is probably my favorite animation in the game. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. Like I, I, I prefer this over pretty much anything, man. Even Gogeta Blue's animations. I mean, it's, pr it's pretty close. It's pretty close, but still, one of the best animations, no question. And now he gets attack and defense plus 180 percent on his passive. Let's check this out, 173,000 defense, 445,000 attack, and he also actually raises attack every time he supers, so uh, he's going to be building up attack pretty fast, right? So whatever you see here is just the beginning. Yeah, 3.8 million attack for the first super. It's going to go up from here, 3.3 mil crit, Goku's dead, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Man, I, I know, I know originally in my video from a couple days ago, you know, I made a, I think I, I felt like I made a lot of good points at least. I felt like, you know, I made a good case for people to summon for cooler, but I think some people were still a little bit unconvinced. So I thought, you know what, today we're going to actually just put him to use, put him to practice, and people will see for themselves just how good he is right because I explained you know everything in the video and I showed you the animations and that was sick but I think people really need to see the gameplay to really get an idea of just how busted this unit is 
So here we go, guys. I mean, there's a reason why people call him the best TUR in the game. I think it's pretty close, honestly, between him and the Fizz Vegito Blue now. But, uh, you, you know, he, he's still definitely one or two, right, in the game as far as TURs go. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's, that's the reason. Second super, 2.8 mil. And as I said, it's still going up. He raises attack every, every single time. He supers. That's the second super. Oh, yo, third super would have been dope. Third super would have been dope. Um, oh, by the way, so he, he can get three supers because on his passive, he actually launches an additional uh, attack every turn that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. So in theory, if you have dupes in him, which of course we do right now. Oh, yeah, I should have paid attention. We almost died there, but that's okay. We're still alive. We're still alive. Um, yeah, as I was saying, like he has the potential, if you have some dupes, to actually get three supers in a turn. Okay, so we just barely scraped by with uh, 21,000 HP and um, I guess we'll pop an item here just so we can keep the showcase going a little bit longer. I do want to still maintain big bad bosses here. So I'm going to use a Ghost Usher. Just make sure we don't die. Obviously, defensively, we're pretty good, but the Frieza at the end, the support Frieza is not going to do so hot. So. We're just gonna, for precautionary reasons, pop that Ghost Usher. And let's see what the attack is now. Obviously we lost a bit of attack and defense because of the Kid Boo. Um, but Frieza is still very good, obviously, as a support. And now we're at 4 million attack. 3 million crit. Additional super, 4.2 million attack. So almost, well over 8 million attack generated this turn. If you get a third super, uh, we can't get a third super because he's dead. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god, he's so crazy. He is such a crazy unit. Okay, so this turn, this turn, we're going to pop an item. Um, let's go for... I guess I'll go for like... Just a Senzu Bean. I think that should be enough. Actually, if we get supered, you know, on the second, second slot, then it's not going to be so good. So we're going to pop an Icarus as well. Uh, def defense is looking pretty good at 138,000 still. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't raise attack on his supers, so he's not going to become like progressively more tanky. So in the later stages, you know, he still might get hit for a, a bit on the legendary Goku event because you know the Goku starts hitting really, really hard later on, right? But um, he's not like gonna take too much damage. Although I would have, it would have been nice to see him get. Uh, you know, more defense with every super. I think that just would have been too much. That would have been too busted. So I get why they only gave him attack on his supers. It's okay though. It's okay. I think his damage output really more than makes up for... <laughs> more than makes up for the... Not lack of defense, but just like not insane defense. He's not, you know, AGL Gohan, where his defense can go up to like a million plus. Um, so he's always going to be around probably like 120k, 150k or something like that. Which, you know, is still respectable. It's, it's still a decent amount. Alrighty. Um, I actually think I'm going to put him in the middle so we can get all the links. Then I will put the turtles there because I want to get that rotation with the double supports again. So we can see like something really crazy before this video ends let's say like five million attack i think we're, we're probably gonna be pretty close or no nah, no nah, it's pretty realistic with the kid boo and turles and uh, him stacking defense or attack every single turn next time the kid boo comes back we should be over five million attack we should be yo look at that normal attack over a million what was that 1.6 million or something like that for a normal man all right there we go so, I think you guys have seen a lot. Um, there's not much else for me to say here, except I don't know what you're thinking, but I definitely myself am going to be summoning for this guy for sure. Um, I think he's just too good. He's just too dope to pass up. And as I've said before in previous videos, he's actually a good support for the Blue Gogeta and Blue Vegito from the five year anniversary as well. So if you guys want to like run the best team possible, for Blue Gogeta and Blue Vegito when this banner comes out or when their banners come out. Um, I think having Cooler is, you know, a good idea. And I don't expect him to 
Actually, I don't know if Transformation Boost is like the best team possible for them, but it's gotta be like one of them, right? And uh, this guy is a support for Transformation Boost. So that being said, I would want to have him to be a support for the uh, Blue Boys when they drop for the five year anniversary. And that's why I gotta have him now, especially because I don't expect him to come back before the five year anniversary um, on Global, right? So you're gonna have to wait for who knows how long to be able to run all of them together. So for me, I just gotta have it now. I I'm not I'm not patient like that, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, your boy's gonna go probably, you know, pretty freaking deep, man. I don't know exactly how many stones I'm spending. I, I'm, I got my wallet ready. Um, <laughs> you know, I already called my bank. You know, if you get a lot of like transactions from a mobile game, don't worry. All right, there's a reason for it. Uh, I, I didn't actually do that, but you know what I mean? Like I'm ready. I'm re Ooh, okay. So 4.2 mil, not quite 5 million. If we had big bad bosses, it would have been a lot closer. Uh, but still, 4.2 is respectable. 4.37 is even better. <laughs> and I think Goku might be dead, man. If we get a crit here, Goku's probably dead. Let's see. Oh my god, 2.9 mil. Wait, hold on. I think I forgot that he actually gets a guaranteed crit against uh, Pure Saiyans and Hyper Saiyans. Maybe one second. Just checking the Dokkan wiki. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. I mean, you're right. I'm right. <laughs> he does actually get a guaranteed crit. My bad, guys. So. Uh, the crit was guaranteed. He doesn't crit as much um, on like other events against other enemies that are not pure Saiyans or hyper Saiyans. So this is actually a bit of a, I guess a slight like overstatement of like how good he is, but not by much. All right, not by much. He still gets the additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. He just doesn't get the guaranteed critical. All right. So as you can see right now, we're taking quite a bit of damage for normal attacks, quite a bit of damage for normal attacks. So even though he's good defensively, he's not amazing defensively. He can hold his own though, and damage of course is, is, is insane. His damage is insane. We still haven't gotten a third super yet. So hopefully we can make it till the next turn, because I want to get one more attack from the other cooler. I'm not sure if we'll make it though. I'm not sure if we'll make it though. If we get supered, it's over. Let's see, let's see. Mmm, ooh, yeah, okay. Well, it's been a good run, guys. <laughs> it's been a good run. <laughs> We're dead, and that's gonna do it for the showcase. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if this video made a difference in uh, what you think about this, you know, transforming cooler, if it made a difference or changed your uh, plans for whether or not you were gonna summon for him. I mean, if you're gonna summon for him anyways, then this video probably just further convinced you to do so but if you're one of those people that you know was thinking of skipping or was not unsure but you know watching this video made you want to summon then let me know in the comments down below about that and uh that's it guys that's gonna do it for the video thank you so much for watching for taking the time out of your day to click on this video as opposed to doing literally anything else with your time and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.